Well, got us another little situation here. As we can see, we'll remove this here. I did not start videoing early enough to show y'all how to remove that, but there are a lot of videos out there to show you how to take your throttle connecting box off of your handlebars. So let me just show you what's going on here. Problem I'm having. Not good here. Let's see if we can get it. You see ever so slightly there, there's some cracking in there. Well, this thing cracked split. I just threw some epoxy on it. The stuff that I used, you can see how far around that was cracked. And the stuff that I used here is this wondrous epoxy that is called five minute epoxy, gap filling epoxy. And this stuff sets up in five minutes and is workable or usable under a stress load after four hours. However, I have found using it, it actually cures up quite a bit quicker than that. This has only been sitting about an hour and a half. It's hard as cement. Now obviously I know it's not done curing, quote unquote, curing properly, completely. However, it is strong enough that if you were in a pinch and this cracked on you on the road while you were riding and your grip just spins back and forth like this, doesn't actually, actually work, you can't get any throttle, you won't turn your cables, then uh, grab a tube of this stuff here, I think it's about four or five bucks at Walmart, pretty much any, any other local hardware store would have it um, now you're gonna wanna just mix up a tiny little bit of this in a uh, little container a little plastic container it comes in a package it's half plastic half cardboard it comes with a little stick attached in the middle here a little stir stick applicator and uh, you just pop this open squeeze an even amount of both sides not more than what you really need maybe a little bit a little extra is not gonna kill you uh, but obviously you don't want to be wasteful a um, little bit of this into the plastic container that it comes in I don't have it handy I tossed it already but uh, anyhow so you stir that up a little bit once you get that stirred up give it a couple seconds it'll start to get kind of thick and goopy uh, once you've got it stirred thoroughly and mixed well then you can take your applicator and just apply a little bit of it this is a little bit sloppy. I tried to sand some of it down after I got it got it uh, cured up just an hour and a half here. But uh, generally, uh, you can put this on here, and if you were in a hurry to get home in about 15 to 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, it would be hard enough where if you weren't riding too far and you don't have old crusty cables that are hard to pull then you shouldn't have any problem with it and now that I've let this dry for like I said about an hour and a half and put it back on the bike and I'm not going to ride it yet obviously but uh, later on tonight or tomorrow morning give another few hours to sit and cure and uh, when it's good and solid and hard and ready then I will uh, take her for a spin and see how she works. But uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to hold better than, uh, damn near better than the stock. This stuff is some pretty cheap, horse shit ass plastic. So, uh, anyhow, I'm going to get another new sleeve. This is bullshit. But, um, looking for a, a good solid aluminum. But anyhow, I did take a small bit and put it on the inside here as well, where you can see the rest of this crack. And what I did was to put that on and I just kind of hold on a second here just kind of smoothed it across the inside where that crack is so it's nice and nice and level you can see there is no amount of epoxy in there that is going to hinder the movement of this on your bars. You definitely do not need that, nor do you want it. 
But this this is cracked all the way through pretty damn good. So we're gonna we're gonna get rid of this piece of shit soon as I get the new one. I'll probably just go to my local parts store tomorrow, pick up. I, I know they stock most of this crap, so I'm gonna pick up a new nylon sleeve, which is what this piece of shit is, and then I am going to put on order probably uh, a nice aluminum one that I found. But that's it, folks. A little bit of this epoxy will go a long way. I say this stuff is worth its weight in gold. Y'all have a great day.